Hello and welcome to the installation video of the Kiyoshi Silent System. In the next minute I will guide you step by step through the installation of our system. If you would rather read the instructions, you can download our installation manual in several languages at kiyoshi.com support. Here you can see all the parts in the box and we will pass through them one by one later. Before we start, make sure you have the following tools. A flathead and a Phillips screwdriver, a ruler, preferably counting from the very edge of the ruler, a metal saw and a metal file, a marker, a pencil, pliers and a sharp knife. As you can see we already disassembled the piano in the video, so start with removing all the panels. Then take out the action and put it on the workbench with the hammers towards you. We start with removing the damper stop rail. We won't be needing this anymore. Now you can take out the mute rail. Screw in the threaded rods on both sides and tighten it with your flathead screwdriver. Next is the hook. Attach it with the hook pointing towards the side with the white damping foam. The screws are supplied with the system. Now we will mount the mute rail to mark the cutting spot. Attach the L-type bracket on the bar side of the action for you on your right. The second smaller bracket goes on the left, so on the treble side of the action. And make sure you mount them as low as possible. Check the horizontal alignment and make sure all hammer shanks can be stopped. Now mark the area around the middle mounting bar on the action and take about 5mm extra on both sides to guarantee free movement. While making the cuts, pay attention to how far you're cutting it and please note the illustration on screen now. Saw up until the thicker part of the mute drill, no further, no less. You can remove the cutout with some pliers and make sure to file any sharp edges. Clean the cutout from any metal dust because you don't want that in your piano and mount the mute drill as before. Pay attention to the horizontal alignment again and as you can see here the mute drill is moving freely back and forth. Let's get some tension on this reel now. There is a small slot in the corner of the bracket to hold the spring. It's time to put back the action again. Don't forget to give it a little test to see if everything is still working as before. Now take out the mute lever and brake cable and guide the cable upwards inside the piano. Put the lock buckle in the hook and the cable shell inside the L bracket. Now you can fine tune the tension of the cable with the adjustment bus near the lever box. Make sure all hammer shanks are stopped when the lever is pulled and all hammers move freely when the lever is in resting position. Part 1 of the installation is done. Let's continue with the sensor rail. For this, take out all the keys and put them on a workbench as per their numbering. Make sure the empty key bed is clean and vacuum it if necessary. Take out the sensor rail and slide on all four plastic brackets. Distribute them evenly over the width of the sensor rail. The position for the two middle brackets should be around where the PCBs of the sensor rail meet. Pay attention here. Put the sensor rail with the LEDs towards you. Put all the springs on the brackets and position the rail with the sensor LEDs at 4 cm from the front rail pins. Now you can screw in all 8 screws. Screw them in all the way, we will unscrew them bit by bit later for the calibration. Let's focus on the keys. Measure out 4 cm again from the center of the front rail pinholes. This is right above the sensor LEDs later. Measure out the distance on multiple keys and draw a line over all of them. These are the reflective stickers. We have the flat and white ones and you can put them aside for now because these are for the pedal sensors. We have the thick white ones 
and these are for keys 1 and 88 on either end of the piano. The thin slim ones are for all the black keys, over here, and the thick slim ones are for all the white keys. Now it is time to stick them all onto the keys. Again, thin for black, thick for white. A very important note for the installation, make sure the reflective stickers are attached right in the middle over the line you drew before. This is to make sure the reflective sticker is centered above the center LED. Wrong placement of the stickers can lead to malfunctioning of the system later. Once you've stickered all the keys, take four black keys and put them onto the keybed. Start with checking the horizontal alignment. Make sure the sensor LED is right underneath the corresponding key and then lock the reel in place with the grub screws on the brackets. For vertical alignment, make sure all eight screws are fully screwed in. Now measure the distance between the bottom side of the press down key and the top side of the LED. Unscrew the screws per bracket until this 4mm distance is met over the whole width of the piano. You can always tweak this distance later during calibration by removing two keys near the brackets. The last part of the sensor reel is the signal cable. Attach it to the right side of the sensor reel and guide the cable down. After this step you can put back all the keys again. The pedal sensors. Mount them onto the brackets. You can either mount these sensors under the pedal rods at the center of the piano or above the pedal rods on the left side of the piano. Attach the reflective stickers on a flat part of the rod. Now connect the white signal cable to the left pedal sensor and the black cable to the right pedal sensor. The other sides of the signal cables go into the control box. Mount the control box on the right side of the piano and mount the front of the control box flush with the key rail. To tidy everything up you can drill a small hole in the bottom of the piano for the power cable. We used a 10mm wood drill here. Guide the power cord through it and plug it into the back of the control box. To finish it up there are cable ties included in the package to make everything tidy. The hardware installation is done. Let's go to the calibration. At first power up, press and hold the power button and the volume button until the system boots in calibration mode. Oh, and don't forget to plug in your headphones of course. You will first hear this tone. Which lets you know that the calibration is starting. Add the next tone. Press down all the white keys in group 1, so that is the last octave plus key 88. Release them again before the next tone comes. And with the second tone, push all the black keys of group 2. Continue your way from treble to bass, ending with the last three keys of the keybed. The last two tones are for the left pedal and the right pedal. If all went well, the control box will display success and shut down automatically. Turn on the device again and congratulations, the system is ready to play. If the control box has failed, adjust the height of the sensor rail brackets until your calibration is successful. A very important step is to unplug the power from the control box before any new calibration attempt. If the power isn't unplugged, the calibration won't be rewritten properly. So this is a very important step for the calibration.
If you have any more questions about the installation, please feel free to contact your dealer or send us an email.